there are unfilled jobs within this administration. Uh, what can you do to get those jobs filled, to put the people in place that you need to actually execute? Well, fortunately, this is year nine of my tenure in this sense, in that I've been a cabinet secretary before, so I know what to do. I'm very confident, and I'm very sure-footed. So we do have a task force at the department uh, to deal with infrastructure. We also have an interagency process within the White House, and this has been doing very well, making a lot of progress. And you are approaching now your own 100 days. T yeah. Tell us about your experience so far. I know that this is... Uh, not your first rodeo, having, having uh, worked in four administrations uh, for four presidents. So let's talk about your experience and how this differs. Well, I think the most important thing for a public servant is to listen. And so we have held many, many stakeholder hearings, meetings to reach out and understand what people's uh, desires and uh, requests and um, wishes are for the infrastructure. So our department is uh, one of the most important departments in terms of carrying out the president's agenda. The infrastructure project, infrastructure initiative, as well as, for example, uh, the modernization of the air traffic control and uh, the deregulatory uh, agenda to ensure that our regulations are not hampering the uh, maintenance and the rebuilding of our infrastructure, but also the creation of new jobs. Because the president has said very firmly that he wants to build American and hire American. So we're concerned not only about the building part of the infrastructure initiative, but also the creating of the new jobs. And uh, so our department has a lot on its plate. And we have, we're on target, as I mentioned. We've uh, listened and we've held um, a great many uh, outreach uh, uh, meetings with uh, relevant stakeholders, as have every other cabinet secretary around the government and also at the White House as well, all with the aim toward understanding what the American people want for the infrastructure initiative. And this infrastructure initiative can also be a huge job creator. What would you expect in terms of jobs uh, once this program is in place? Well, the president has said that he wants to build American, hire American, and these will be good paying jobs. Do you have an expectation in terms of what that would mean? How, how much can you move the needle in terms of new job creation? Are these temporary jobs? Typically when you're talking about a construction problem, it's temporary jobs, is that right? Well, it's not necessarily temporary jobs. Especially if it's 16 years. No, no, hopefully it will not be that <laughs> long. But with all of the other things, with all of the other initiatives that this administration has done, we hope that the economy will come back uh, we have seen one of the most uh, dismal economies in the last eight years after such a sharp recession. Usually the, re uh, the economy comes bouncing back, and it has not, primarily because of the regulatory burdens that have been placed on this economy. So as this administration comes in, has come in, you can already see that there's a great deal of renewed confidence in the government, uh, in the private sector, in, uh, you know, in our economy. And so the stock market has come back, the job numbers are getting better, uh, the uh, wages per hour are getting better. And so what this all means is that the country is moving in a forward direction and the momentum and the vitality of the economy will create an environment in which there's going to be steady growth and steady creation of jobs. I, I like the fact that the priority of this administration has been growth because of course we've seen the numbers and the growth has just been underwhelming. Uh, how would you characterize the job picture right now? I think the unemployment rate uh, uh, is low at 4.5 percent but what's more important is that the labor participation rate is now beginning to tick upward. Do things feel different to you with this administration? Uh, yes. Tell me about it. Well this administration is very much focused on growth and job creation. And it's doing so through a belief that the private sector uh, is the engine of growth and that the government's role is to create the environment through which economic growth and job creation can occur and that the government is not the one that creates the jobs nor the one to create economic growth alone. It's the private sector. What, what are you expecting in, in terms of moving this through? You know, we've seen what happened with health care. We, we, you know, it took forever, and we're still not there. And tax reform, of course, is sort of a little bit hostage to health care. We're a democracy. The legislative process is hard. You know, lawmakers aren't being obstreperous because they want to be obstreperous. 
they have legitimate concerns because they represent the people in their district or they represent the people in their state. And so it is a lengthy process. It's a messy process. But I believe that outreach, um, communications, and understanding uh, the process will go a long way toward a successful outcome. And we've been in constant contact with uh, the Congress, with the various committees of jurisdiction, and we're working together, hopefully, on many of these tough issues.